So I am Carl Martin, I am CEO and co-founder of Bionim and we make a wristband called the NIMI. And the NIMI authenticates your identity based on your unique electrocardiogram. So your electrical signature that your heart produces, it's a biometric signature we use to, to know that it's you. And once the wristband knows that it's you, it talks to the outside world uh, to bypass passwords, pins, uh, beyond security also to provide a very hyper-personalized user experience. So what types of things do you envision people doing with the, the, the NIMI? So at a very basic level, it's about uh, unlocking your personal devices. You walk up to them, your tablet is unlocked, you leave it behind, it's automatically locked. Um, it also has a gesture, it has motion sensor that supports gesture recognition. So imagine going up to your uh, car, you make one gesture to open the front door, a different gesture to open the trunk. And so those are about opening things, but also in general think about smart environments. How do they adapt to you? How do they know that it's you? using the NIMI, they can know that it's you and, and adapt accordingly. So you can pre-order right now at uh, getnimi.com uh, and it's $79 at the, as a pre-order price right now. Later around April, May 2014 when we deliver it's going to go up to $99. And so in the next few months uh, before the end of the year we'll also be engaging developers doing demos. Uh, we'll probably be doing our first public demo in about a month from now and uh, we have over 5,000 developers who have signed up, so we're gonna have a lot of activities to engage developers and let them showcase uh, uh, what they're working on. What's the coolest thing that you think we're gonna see from these developers that are kind of coming up? Like, so, the thing that gets us most excited is, is, like I said before, it's not just about security and unlocking things, it's about how can we have a hyper-personalized user experience. So I think the most exciting things that are going to happen is you think about smart appliances in your home, thermostat, uh, you know, your coffee maker, your lighting. Imagine all of that is always tuned to you. Um, you know, even more interesting is what happens when you and someone else are there. How does that uh, behave with the, both of your identities there? I think that's going to be the really cool future that we're enabling. All right, and so one last question. So we're here at Blaze in San Francisco. Um, what do you think about the wearable technology conference scene right now? Well, so this is certainly not the first wearable tech conference I've been to, but I think what's immediately clear is that it's still very young. <laughs> wearable tech is, is uh, trying to figure out where it sits in the world, and uh, the NIMI is the same. You know, we don't uh, claim to know exactly where we fit in the world. Uh, so there's a lot of cool things people doing, whether it's smart watches or something that's sensing every aspect of your body. I think what's going to be happening over the next couple of years is saying, how do we actually make products that to the average person wants to use and that's what we're here today talking about. Perfect, thank you. Thank you.